This is my review for John Hillcoat's newest film, Lawless. I saw this film yesterday, and uh, John Hillcoat is fast becoming just one of my favorite directors. My first film I ever saw of his was a film called The Proposition, which was an Australian western. And then I saw The Road, which was a adaptation of the Cormac McCarthy novel. It was about a father and son surviving in a post-apocalyptic world after a disaster has wiped out most of humanity. So, I mean, he makes very, very dark, dark, gritty films. This film was based on a book called The Wettest County in the World by Matt Bondurant, who is the grandson of Jack Bondurant, played by Shia LaBeouf in this film. So the film is basically about three brothers who are bootleggers in Virginia during Prohibition. And part of the problem, I think, with this film is that there's a... I didn't read the book, but you could tell that Nick Cave probably wanted to jam as much stuff from the book into the film as possible. So there's just a whole lot of stuff going on in this film. We've got the you know actual production, transportation, and sale of the moonshine by the three brothers. We've got a detective from Chicago played by Guy Pierce, who's you know corrupt, and he's come in and he's squeezing the locals for a share of the profits. We have two separate romantic subplots, one for Tom Hardy's character and one for Shia LaBeouf's character. We also have Shia LaBeouf trying to prove to his two older brothers that he's a man now and that he can, you know, he's as good as them. We also have Gary Oldman in a small supporting role who plays a gangster who purchases the moonshine. So, I mean, there's just too much going on for it to be, you know, I, I, I am going to recommend this film. But it's not as good as The Proposition, and it's not as good as The Road. Um, and then the other problem I had with it is that visually, I think The Proposition is just beautiful. And the same goes for The Road. They're just, just gorgeous films to look at. And I can remember thinking several times while I was watching this film, man, this does not look good. I mean, it's, it's just so bright and I was looking online, I guess they were saying this was shot on digital, but I've seen plenty of stuff shot on digital that still looks really good. This film, I don't know, I don't know who his director of photography was for this film, but it just was not, not a, not a uh, pretty film to look at the same way that uh, The Proposition and The Road were. This is a very violent film, and it's not the kind of violence. Um, when you watch a film violence from a, from a director like Michael Bay or John Woo or even, or even Michael Mann, you know, it's very stylized and it's thrilling and kind of exciting violence to watch. As opposed to when you're watching Lawless, I mean, it is brutal, nasty violence. Uh, let, me, let me give you an example of the reaction that I had on at least, actually like three times uh, on three different occasions of violence in this film my physical reaction here's what you need to do grind your teeth or, or clench your teeth together clench your teeth together really tightly and then I want to want you to do is crinkle your nose and show your teeth and then make this sort of weird sound like this go Ugh. okay so that that's basically what I did like three times during this movie it's just violence where you go how can human beings do that to each other you know, it, it, but, but I think, and, and John Hill could have said that that's how he wanted, that's how he wants the violence in his films to be. He doesn't want people to get any kind of a thrill out of the violence. I mean, and you don't, I mean, it is, it is just, it will physically, at least for me, affect you. So that, that's the kind of violence in this film. So you should be prepared for that. And if you're not into that, you, you want to avoid a film like this at all costs. The acting was very good in this Every time you see an actor in a film, you know, he brings with him the past work that you've seen him in. So I, I've got to admit, I like Shia LaBeouf, but I was not excited to see him in a John Hillcoat film. Uh, Tom Hardy feels like he should be in a John Hillcoat film. You know, I've only seen a handful of Tom Hardy films. I've seen Bronson. I've seen Inception. I've seen The Dark Knight Rises. I've seen Warrior seen Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I mean, those are tough, not, but they're dark films, and he plays tough guys in those films, and those are the kind of characters that inhabit a John Hillcoat film. You know, I like Shia LaBeouf. I, I liked him a lot in Disturbia. I liked him a lot in Eagle Eye. I think Shia is a good actor, 
but Tom Hardy and Jason Clark and Gary Oldman, those guys, you know, when you when I when you look back at their filmographies, they they feel like they sh- they belong in a John Hillcoat film. Jessica Chastain did a very good job in the film, but I think if you look at John Hillcoat's films, they are none of them could pass the Bechtel test. I mean, they are centered around male characters and the violence that these men uh, commit. So yeah, there there aren't a lot of real strong female characters in his films, but uh, you know, I mean, that's just the kind of movies he makes. So I mean, you should also know that when you go into his films. I also liked the idea that the protagonists and the heroes of this film are criminals and outlaws, and the villains in this film are the law enforcement. And not that there haven't been films in the past with cops as the villains. But usually in those films, if you're going to have a cop as a villain, you need to also have a cop as the hero. So you take films like Copland or uh, Pride and Glory or Training Day. You know, you've got cops who are the villains, but it's got to be balanced out to show that, oh, yeah, there are bad cops, but, you know, cops aren't bad. So they got to have the hero be cops and they don't want to glorify criminal behavior. So you so. I actually kind of like that's always interesting. I, I, I was racking my brain trying to think of uh, a film that had a criminal as the hero and a cop as the villain. And the only thing I can think of right now was uh, The Professional. And, uh, and by the way, The Professional was the superior film, much better than the international version, Leon. So that's just the way it is with The Professional, superior film. So I like the idea that just because something is illegal, it doesn't mean that it's immoral. And the people that are engaged in this activity, yes, they are outlaws and they are criminals, but they are still people who have a sense of morality and a sense of justice. And I like the idea that just because you work in law enforcement, it doesn't mean you can't be corrupt and it doesn't mean you can't be sociopathic. So these are very interesting themes that John Hillcote has explored in this film. So for my final thoughts on this film, this is my least favorite of the three John Hillcote films that I've seen, but it is still a film that I would recommend, and it is one of the better films that I've seen this year. It's just one of those things where in the context of the two other films I've seen from the director, um, it's slightly disappointing, but it's still a good film that I recommend people see.